Morning everyone, welcome to Rusty Rose Gravel again. Today hopefully we are riding gravel. We're in Log Goyle Head from the Ard Garden Peninsula on a lovely morning. So today we're going to be doing the Ard Garden Loop. It's about 40 kilometers long I think, 900 meters of climbing. Mostly gravel, I'm hoping for a change. So we'll be starting here in Log Goyle Head and then we'll head south past the steeple and Cairn Class towards the saddle before turning left at Karen Locken. From the southern point, it's back northwards towards our garden besides Loch Long. Then it's back west along Glen Crow and Glen Moor, skirting around Ben Donick. We might have a look at the rest and be thankful as well while we're there. And then we'll splash over the Donick water before back to Loch Goyle and the end of the loop. So it's been a couple of days since I've done the Braemar to Aviemore loop. Legs about recovered from all the walking. I'm quite looking forward to actually riding for a change. So I picked this one, the weather looks like it's going to be good. Certainly starting out well with this lovely view. One other thing that I have noticed from the ride the other day from Braemore to Aviemore is my handlebar bag I was actually rubbing on my, on my frame. It's worn away the, the top coat paint to reveal the metal underneath. I've been reliably informed that a bit of clear nail varnish and then some autoglim polish should help protect that area. I don't think it's structurally damaged, it's just aesthetically it's not very not very nice. But here we go, look out for that with the handlebar bags I guess. Careful where the clips end up rubbing on a long day. Anyway, it's enough moaning about my bike. Let's go that way. So this fun little climb here is the Duke's Pass. We're scrambling up. Still quite steep and rocky here. So this Duke's Pass trail, it's pretty rough. Spent quite a bit of walking. It's just steep gullies where the streams cut through. Oh dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know if the head cam caught that, but I thought it was a somewhat benign puddle. Turned out to be massively deep. <laughs> and I went straight over the handlebars. <laughs> straight in and this bike just stopped. Ah, whoopsie. <laughs> So we made it to the Corin Locken after traversing the Duke's Pass. That was a bit of a slog actually up there. There's no getting away, you're gonna have to push your bike up that bit. Some of it was pretty good though, minus the handlebar 
launch. Got a slight twist on the on the front now. Oh well, it's not that bad actually. I've twisted it back as much as I could for now. That'll do. So I think it's snacks now, and we head off down down there. Hopefully some nice wide fast forest trails, get some time back. That's taken a bit longer than I thought that bit. And head down to Loch Long. Finart oil terminal. That was a great descent. Oh, coming down from the lock there. Oh, we're now on the Cat Craig loop as we now head our way up to the rest and be thankful. I think it's all uphill from here. Oh, take a breather. And we'll get going. Some views up here, rest and be thankful. This is looking north into the, the lesser viewed area. <sighs> Worth coming to, definitely, on a sunny day like this. The only downside is now I've got to climb up that blooming hill I just came down. <laughs> Let's get on to it. Back on track. Whoa. Oh, that is a slippery corner. This is actually quite a tricky road because it's quite hard packed underneath. Quite a lot of asphalt still here. I'm just getting marbles on top. Not very nice. Can't trust it. It's fast when you can trust it though. Marbles, marbles everywhere. You know, when the weather's out like this, I don't think there's anywhere better to be. West Coast of Scotland is amazing. Look at it. So the Yard Garden Loop just drops back down onto that road, back into Log Goyle Head after the quarry downhill there. I've chosen to come up a different bit. This track here that goes into 
this glen. Over here, it's turning into be a beast of a climb. I kind of wish I'd just stayed on the road at the bottom and just moseyed on back to finish the loop. But then that view, it's like a postcard. Here we are then, back where I first met you this morning, just on the outskirts of Loch Goyle Head. Oh, what a route, what a day, absolutely brilliant. So this, this gravel here that heads up to the Duke's Path, or Duke's Pass, it starts off well, but then it just gets horrible. It just gets horrible, but the slog's worth it, because once you get to Loch and Corrin, or Corrin Loch and, um, the gravel trail alongside Loch Lon, up to our garden. Excellent. Brilliant little trail that is. Quite fast descents. A few steep kickers. And then up to the rest and be thankful. Again, that's a slog, but it's worth it. The views up there are always great. Um, as long as the clouds are not there. And then coming down from the rest and be thankful alongside the B road to the quarry. That was a surprisingly excellent bit of trail as well. It was, uh, looks like it's an old road. So it's got um, asphalt sections with marble gravel on top. A little bit disconcerting, but I reckon if you knew it well enough, you could get some good speed down that. And then I just popped into Glen Donick, I think it is, just up there to look at the Donick waterfall. Um, that climb up there, <laughs> that was tough. And then the waterfall, mm, not really worth it. Maybe the trail just there, mm, not maybe worth, not maybe worth it either. Go for it if you feel like it, but don't feel bad if you don't do it. So that'll do us, I think. A great little loop. Weather was brilliant. Couldn't have asked for better. Toes are only mildly damp, which is brilliant. Happy with that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe, do the things. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, everyone.